Hi. Good afternoon. Today we are going to learn how to develop a simple traffic light st simulation using Visual Studio 2010. First of all, you bring an oval shape then you draw it into a circle draw it into a circle draw it into a circle then you do you copy and duplicate it as we need three of the circles so you make a copy again then you paste to get three oval shapes or three circles then you arrange it to suit uh, how you want it to be on the page after that you bring out three text boxes one you copy and paste to get the second one you need three you paste again to get a third text box that's where you are going to type your text okay so after getting after getting your three text boxes then your three oval shapes the first one you change it to green you name it as green green then the second one to you name it as yellow or ambient but for our case we are going to use yellow and then the third one to you name it as red yeah so after naming them you change the colors so you change the green one to green by selecting the back color then you change it to green before it will appear you have to change the back style to opaque yeah before your color will appear so this one to change the back style change the back style to opaque then you change the color to yellow or ambient then the third one to you change the back style to opaque then the color to red yes after that you go and pick your timer the timer is going to control the movement of the traffic line so you just click on it then you click on the form to get your timer menu here then you come to the timer properties and change it to any interval that you want but in our case we are going to use 3000 milliseconds which is equivalent to three seconds so the lights will change in three seconds interval well once you get your shapes and everything ready then you move on to your coding so you just double click on the timer to open your coding uh, your coding area so after your coding area is opened you just start typing your codes by using an if conditional statement yes so first of all if if your destined if uh, if green if green if green 
dot visible. If green is visible when your program is loaded, then your amber color or yellow color dot visible, that's the visibility of the yellow color, should be equal to true. True simply means on. Then your green color should be equal to false, which is off. Yes. After that, your text box or text box 2 should indicate a text. So the code for the text box 2 will be text box 2 dot text should be equal to uh, yellow means get ready yes yellow means get ready ready that will be the text that will be displayed when yellow color is visible okay let's move on to the next code the next code will be else if yellow is visible yellow dot visible if yellow is visible if yellow is visible then red dot visibility that the visibility of red should be equal to true or should be on then the rest should be off so when red is on yellow yellow must be off so yellow should be equal to false then green green to green to must be equal to false yes then text the text box for yellow which is text box three which is text box three so text box three dot text should be equal to then the message that should display should be equal to uh, red means stop that is when red is visible then the other text box sorry we skipped a step here the other text boxes should should show zero or any content should be cleared so text box one and text box three should show an empty text box yes an empty text box an empty text box so text box in the second statement to so text box one should show an empty text or should be empty then text box two two should be empty or should not show any text all right else if green green dot visible if green dot visible is equal to 
true if green dot visible is equal to true then yellow yellow must show false then red too must show false or should be off true or false simply means on and off then the text that you show which is text box one text box one should show the message green means green means go so this is the code to represent that then the other text boxes which is text box two text box two should be empty then text box three two should be empty yeah so that's the code that we need to make the distance the traffic software run so to make it more visible let's change the background to black so that we can see it very well so we are going to change the background to black then we run our program so this is how the program will look like yes there you see green means go yellow means get ready and red means stop thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos from our tech services.